math seven, hey math seven, if you were wondering how to find the mean of integers, that is finding the average. And if you can't remember that, first we add up all the numbers, and then second we divide by how many there are. So if we take these numbers right here, um, I would first add them up by putting all of the negatives together. So we have negative 2, we have negative 18, that becomes negative 20, and then we have another negative 6. So if we add the negative 6, then that becomes negative 26. Then, as you can see, we have a positive 14. So I'm going to put a positive 14 right here because we're going to be adding these all together. So this is different sign difference, so we're going to subtract, and we're going to keep the sign of the bigger number, which is the negative. So I know it's going to be negative, so I'm going to put it down there. 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So when I add up all of the total yards for the last problem on my homework tonight, I get negative 12. Now let's add up the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4, so I have to take negative 12 and divide it by 4. Hmm, I can't remember if this answer is negative or positive. So I'm going to think of my little emoji guy right over here with his little curly hair. Woo! Okay, so I have one negative, one positive. So if I cover that up with my pen, even though you should be using pencil, my answer is going to be negative because that's the one symbol that's still showing. So a negative divided by a positive equals a negative 3. So my last answer for homework is negative 3, and there's my work. Hope this video was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.